Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and behind me I have the Super 73 S1. This is going to be how it does in snow when snow is falling. If you can see anything outside, snow is currently falling, and I just got back from a ride. So just to kind of prove everything, um, at the end of this video will be a short clip of me driving through Times Square on this while it is snowing. And I just kind of want to go through the camera and show you a little bit how it does in the snow. All right, so if you don't know, the S1's tires are going to be a little bit more knobby than the S2. So the S2 is going to be, I would say, better street tires, but when you're doing anything considered off-roading, my ninja, like going maybe in sand and snow and anything, these are the tires that I believe do best. Now the only reason why I got the S1 instead of the S2 is for price. This is my first real electric bike and you know what? I didn't want to put a lot of money, a huge amount of money into something that definitely, you know, like, I don't know if it's right for me. This is right for me. And I think I lucked out, honestly, on getting these type of tires rather than the other ones that are now on the S2. Now, I know the S2 is a quicker bicycle. I believe it maxes out at 32 miles per hour. This one, I believe, is about 24, but I've got it to about 26, 27. This is just kind of what it feels like. And for me, this is more than enough power. Maybe during the summer when it's not raining or snowing, maybe I'm going to kind of want different tires. But by the way, if you think this is going to be like a rough ride just because it has like the bumps and everything, it's not really going to be anything. It's going to be a very quiet ride. Now, I do wear, um, what, an ear, like the Apple ear pods and uh, I have a hat on, but I do keep transparency on just so I can hear everything around me because that's the most important thing, just that you have your awareness of everything. But for me, I don't really hear anything because of these wheels. And that's because when you're going straight forward, you're catching all this here and there's really no bumpiness. It's just that if you're going through snow, going through sand or grass or anything, it's just gonna be able to catch all of these. Now, in a previous video, I was like, I was going through snow. I didn't have my DJI action connected up there yet, so I didn't have footage. But in, let's say, packed snow, these tires are dangerous. When it's really wet outside, these tires do not feel secure. Um, but when it is fresh snow, when it is kind of dry and snowing as it is currently out there, not really packed as anything, these tires are really, really good. And I'm kind of just learning how to navigate with this bike going at 24 miles per hour. And for me, it's been perfectly fine. But if you guys have any questions, I do live in New York City. I'm gonna be taking this around. Um, I do have the DJI Action just so I can record things here. But for me, I think this is the right choice. I'm happy that I got the S1. I kind of lucked into it because now it is winter time. But I think maybe if I ever do get another one, it will be one with more kind of road tires. But guys, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget, right after this ends, it's going to be a short video about me going through Times Square while, while it is snowing. And you can hear everything, you can see everything if you kind of like that New York look. But yeah, oh yeah, don't forget, on Instagram at m8b9, you can email me at matt8b9. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do like this bike. It's changed me, and uh, I feel I can get around the city a lot easier. So um, yeah, any questions about this, just let me know. All right, guys, see you next time. Oh yeah, wait for the next part.
Thank you. 